The Fotherdale kestrel chicks are four weeks old and they're growing fast. The kestrel pair had a turbulent time during incubation, but amazingly all six chicks hatched. But for the young kestrels, danger is never far away. Let's go back to see how it all started. It's the 12th of May and the kestrels have been incubating for over a month. As the chicks prepare to hatch, the female can feel them bristling with life. She's restless, sensing the first egg is ready. Underneath the female, just out of sight, the chick is hatching. She lifts up to reveal the first tiny chick. It's blind, still damp from the egg and completely helpless. It's amazing to witness these remarkable moments when that female kestrel sees her chick for the first time. Two hours later, a second chick makes an appearance. Now with two mouths to feed, she heads out for some food. The male arrives at the entrance to guard the defenseless chicks. Soon the female's back with their very first meal. The chicks are only a few hours old, but instinctively raise their beaks to be fed. With dinner time finished, she settles down to brood them. She's careful not to stand on them with her talons clenched. She starts to eat the discarded eggshells, which are a great source of calcium for her. And it's not long before she's off again for more food. Her mate isn't far away and pops inside to see the chicks for the first time. While the male does most of the hunting, actually feeding the chicks is the female's job, and it's just not sure what to do. He tries his best to feed the chicks, but instead he just lays the mouse on top of them. These chicks are only a few hours old, and this mouse is actually bigger than they are. The chicks are hungry, and the male is completely confused. Thankfully the female comes to the rescue, bringing in more food. Unlike the male, she knows just what to do, tearing it into small pieces to feed the chicks. As night falls, the female rests. It's been a busy day. And it's not over yet. A barn owl lands on the entrance and enters the nest. The kestrel grapples with the intruder, grabbing it by its face and calling furiously to see off the barn owl. As the barn owl leaves the nest, I wonder who it is. Finn and Gilfie are over in the elm stump when it happens, so it can't be them. Could it be Ghost or Willow who have just left the barn owl tower? On closer inspection, the attacking owl has a dark facial disc, a buff coloured breast and no ID ring. It's got to be Willow. Now the barn owl's gone, the chicks are safe again. For now. 20 minutes later, Willow is back. The female does everything she can to protect the chicks, skillfully grasping the barn owl's legs. Willow retreats and I spot her a bit later on, looking worse for wear. But for the kestrels, the ordeal is over and she returns to her young. Gathering up the chicks, and making sure all the eggs are safe. After these attacks, I'm worried the chicks and eggs may have been harmed. But as the sun rises, the family seems okay. And a third chick has hatched. Over the next two days, the three remaining eggs hatch out successfully. Chick number four gets a helping hand from mum, who chews away the eggshell. A 
and Chick 5. And 6 emerged soon afterwards. Against all of the odds, all of her chicks have hatched. It's always a pleasure to get an insight into the lives of these special birds. The Kestrel pair continue to show their resilience and determination, fighting off threats and working hard to ensure the survival of their brood. And as the chicks continue to grow, I can't wait to see them become strong young birds. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.